Your sensory card is the Nine of Pentacles though, which is really nice. Focusing on you, your health, your well-being, your money, feeling successful, especially financially or just wealthy in some way. Like maybe you've had an accomplishment this week. This would be a job that's come in that is, that's allowed you to have financial security and independence. But you're definitely feeling secure and like you have everything under control. Now, in the general side, we have the Five of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. And I feel as though you're waiting for something to come through. And I feel like this Nine of Pentacles energy may not come through until, until like the end of the week. Because I think there's a struggle waiting for something. Because it's been so long in the making with the Seven of Pentacles. But eventually it does come through and here's that news, that opportunity, letter in the mail that opens doors for you and allows you some sense of freedom with this Nine of Pentacles. Or it's just a, a bonus has come through as well that's allowed you to spend on yourself, enjoy this money for instance. Could be a project that you wanted to work on too that makes you feel good. Think, things of that nature, just so many possibilities. On the left side, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Six of Wands. So you've got something major, at least surprising, happening with this Tower energy here. So something goes down. Now, it feels as though the Five of Pentacles here is uh, quite, it's quiet. These two characters are not talking, but they're supportive of each other. They're there for each other. And it's like a, I feel a broken silence for some reason with this combination for you guys. And more than likely being able to come through a circumstance in your love life that wasn't easy to deal with. Maybe you felt left out by your partner. You didn't feel that support from them. And then they've come through in a big way. Because the end card is the Six of Wands. It's feeling like you're successful in your love life. You're getting the attention. You're getting something that you want through this situation. And you're happy from it. So let me get the clarifiers now. And let's start with the Nine of Pentacles. Another nine, emotional contentment. So again, you're feeling good in all accounts. Definitely have fulfillment coming through for this week as your focus. General side. The general side with the four of cups, it's like you don't want to wait. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of being bored or you're, again, the seven of pentacles and the five of wands is struggling to just like sit by wondering when something's gonna come through. Now, I still see it coming through because the Page of Pentacles is the outcome card and we have this here. Why is the Four of Cups here? You could be waiting for someone to reach out. And it just takes its time this week, but I feel like this person, as slow as they are, they do come through. Five of Wands, King of Wands. So you could be struggling with uh, what to do, how to take initiative, what action to take. This could be a, that other male energy that is confusing you as well. But you're looking forward to change, changing your circumstances with the Wheel of Fortune. And eventually when you receive whatever this is, package, money, project, job, you may be of two minds about the situation. You may need to go back and forth. This could also be something that you're juggling. So it's, it's not that you're just doing this, but you're doing this alongside something else and it may keep you quite busy. Another two. I think it brings some indecision here in your part. Neither of these characters are able to choose one or the other. Matter of fact, this one's going back and forth between the two options, as is this one not ready to commit to one or the other. They don't even want to see what the issue is. <laughs> so there could be some underlying issue that needs to be resolved, in which case for the moment you don't really want to deal with it. One more. The thought of dealing with that actually upsets you. You rather just kind of move on and not stay in that energy. 
Mm. One more for the Four of Cups and the King of Cups. There's like an opportunity here from someone. They want you to commit to them or like a position. They could be offering that to you. Maybe you think you're the best person for it. But I think that, again, you're of two minds when it comes to this. The money could be fantastic, but you're not sure. Maybe it's a person you don't like working with or you're just not sure if this is the path you want to go down. But an opportunity is there that you are, for the moment, second-guessing. Maybe you think it'll lock down too much of your time and you like your current status. Nine of Pentacles, you're happy with what you have now, which is more than enough to take care of yourself. Strong, independent, freedom. You got freedom as it is. Love. Sun. There's happiness here. The sun also illuminates the situation, so if there are any secrets that's being brought out, into focus but for the most part i think that you end this week quite happy in love why is the five of pentacles here all right it looks like you have obtained some um hope and support in this situation so again if there was a difficult circumstance in love you've gotten support from your partner and things are healing there they look like they're healing they don't have to even talk if you are single, there's a strong possibility of attracting someone, getting the attention of someone with the Six of Wands and the Sun, and feeling like you're not going to be alone, if that's a concern of yours. Tower. Justice. Could have been a major decision that you're making this week, or that has been made for you. And there's the Tower again, major decision sudden decision that has been made either by you or for you that's exciting it leads to something new and you're happy about this with the ace of rods all right one more overall queen of swords you're very serious about your love life and the situation and you want to take it seriously especially if you're in a partnership and you've been years together already you want to take it to that next step potentially that could be your focus this could also be you being very direct with what you want, how you feel, and everything in between. And I feel if that's the case, it's leading to good things. And your partner is also being equally open and supportive. This could represent, of course, I see it more as you for some reason. Like letting your thoughts and feelings be known. Which brings about, again, good things for you. Center card is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I feel as though... There are quite a bit of things that are changing for you with this energy. And I like the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, it brings good luck. It brings fortunate shifts in your world. You may not see it yet, or you may not believe it, or there could be some of that, some of that skeptical energy. And there, This could also be a desire to change your circumstances, especially because what's happening here, I don't like it very much. On the general side, we have the Three of Swords with the Four of Coins. Someone's hanging on to some pain here that's very hard to let go. And it's not necessarily that you want to hold on to it. It could just be that it's just there. It's, you know, it's hard to say, you know, get out of here, get out of my face. It just creeps on up. Whether it involves work, family, love, it could be anything. Considering the Four of Coins, it could involve money. This could be, you know, some... A co-worker, for instance, that you've trusted, you've worked with, they took credit for your your ideas and you are hurt by that situation, feeling like you can't trust anybody. I do get the sense that there is this energy of being withdrawn, especially because the Four of Cups is here, so you're emotionally unavailable, it seems. And that's in all regards, for the most part, because I get the vibe that you don't trust situations or people for the time being, and you just are not getting or seeing the results that you want and because of that you're a little bit you're feeling that apathy that can come with the four of cups if we go to love we have the two of cups the nine of wands and the two of wands the nine of wands for me just kind of kills the vibe because i feel like there is someone and i'm seeing the two of cups differently where someone is trying to reach to another person and you have this character here exerting more energy towards a female in this case 
and it feels as though she's kind of like, eh, what are you doing? I don't know if this is a good idea. But not like the, I don't know if this is a good idea, I want to do this, more like, maybe you can go away. There's a sense of feeling uncomfortable around someone. Again, of course, it involves a love life. And because of that, because you don't feel this sense of security that more than likely you want, a choice is being made here, the two of wands. You're looking towards the future. What is it you desire when it comes to your partnership, whether you're single or not? Somehow, a situation involves a choice in the matters of love. So let's get our additional overall general. No, oh, I got two. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. I feel like something, again, has been very directly come out. It may not have come from the person's mouth, like the person that you're dealing with. It may have been through other sources with the Page of Swords. You learn about it indirectly, but it's true and it's just like it's things because the three of swords is here the four of cups and this these aces and even the sword of the page is holding is very sharp so something coming into awareness that has been a difficult situation to deal with and to hear and to communicate about especially if people are trying to talk to you about it you're like i don't want to talk how many times do I have to say and make it clear that I'm not open and available for a conversation is what I get. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups do not have anything that they want to say. Love. Six of Wands. Now, what's good about this, and I'm happy to see it, is that you're, this is reflecting to me a choice that you're making that's right for you and it makes you feel successful. And that sounds weird in love, but it makes you feel like, you know what, this is the right thing. And I think you feel good about it. And look at that energy. This is, this guy's like, this is it. I got this. This is what I have to do. I'm doing it. And she just looks so uncomfortable. Whether you're male or female, there's that sense of being uncomfortable with another person. So if you're single, you could have a date here. It just makes you feel like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> no, no, no. Go away. Maybe it's the second or third date, not necessarily the first. And in your relationship, you may suddenly feel like, I don't know, you need some time of heart, something like that, because the energy just isn't right for spending time alone together is what I get. Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Cups. So the Wheel of Fortune is bringing some good emotional news and welcome news. That's very awakening with the judgment energy. And I think this is that big conversation that happens that turns things around. But I feel like the Wheel of Fortune wouldn't necessarily come towards until the end because this came as the main energy and this comes as the main energy. But the shift starts happening. The Three of Swords. What is the reason for that dreaded Three of Swords? There's the Four of Pentacles. And I feel like someone has made you feel insecure or has taken away some form of security for you. You don't feel grounded. You don't feel safe. You feel like you're hanging on by a thread, whatever that may mean to you. That's what I'm getting from the energy. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Okay, do we really need to talk about it? No, okay. Not feeling it. I have to say something. Okay, so. Knight of Rods is here. Knight of Rods adds this energy of just wanting to escape. Wanting to run, do something that you like and that maybe it's a thing of yours that you enjoy that takes your mind off everything. And this is just like, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> so, Two of Cups, please relationship is a burden this is like that long date too that you're just like calling or having wishing you had an out a friend giving you that emergency phone call or something needing a break the four of swords two of wands You may feel like the emperor, I don't necessarily saying, oh, I'm going to choose this person, they're mature, whatever. That could be the case for a couple. I think that the emperor in this situation is showing you being very decisive, saying this is how it is, this is what I'm, what I'm going to do, and it's with confidence, and there's just no doubt about it. Because the Six of Wands is a very confident card. Six of Wands. 
and the six of wands is bringing that new area to your love life is essentially running away and i don't mean running to basically running away from problems but it's headed in a different direction because that's what you feel like you need you maybe some of you have leveled up beyond a relationship it's just not mature enough or it's just not working right for you so this is what you have to do yeah i think that there could be a connection here that there has been a situation that definitely ended it's not easy it never is with the three of swords but it feels right is what i get 